probably three of the biggest wrecks I've had in a couple of years today. So a lot, of, a lot of cussing out there, but uh, I don't mean anything by it. It's in the heat of the moment. I'm feeling really sick and just did what we could to get to the finish. Yeah, struggling with my injury still a little bit more than I expected I would. And Part of it, man. Yeah. Dirt bikes. All right, we have defending champion Grant Baylor on his brand new Babbitt's Monster Energy Kawasaki. How was your enduro? Man, it was a lot better than I was anticipating. Um, Sumter is usually not one of my favorite races. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say that. Is it's probably one of my least favorites. So to come out here and win the first round, um, yeah, I couldn't be more happy, dude. Like, uh, I haven't felt this good in Sumter since 2015, I believe, when I won on the Yamaha. Man, I don't know. I'm just having fun on this Kawasaki. Like, it's just easy to ride, and it's 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 just like fluid. You know, it just comes to me naturally. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited to see what uh, what what we can do on on this thing this year, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really pumped to get the ball rolling with first place down here, especially to bounce back from last year at eighth place down here in first round. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. Good. It seems like you got the new bike mojo kind of working for you, huh? Yeah. Did you have any get offs during the oh. day or pretty clean? And uh, yeah, I had probably three of the biggest wrecks I've had in a couple years today. So yeah, it was it was it was a rough day. Um, it was a really good day, and then and it went bad really quick. Um. All the way until test five, I never hit the ground. I had, I think, test three, I, I tipped over in a, a real slow turn and caught the bike before it hit the ground, you know. Other than that, I didn't hit the ground all day. And then test five, maybe just five or six turns into the test there, there was a sweeper right, and it had straightaway after it. And I was, I just got over to the left there to move move over out of the whoops just a little bit. Caught a freaking pine stump, sent me straight over to bars, third gear. And uh, the bike flew over me. I saw the bike fly over me, luckily. Just barely missed me, and then um, I was good. You know, I just kind of, you know, rung my bell, shook me up a little bit. Um, kind of just tucked and rolled, really. I got really lucky, and uh, but it just mangled my front end up. I got up, my front wheel was locked up, and my levers were straight, bent straight down, and my, my bark busters were all bent up and down. The whole front end was all out of whack. So, yeah, it was, it was a bad way to start that test because it was a 10-mile test, one of the longer tests of the day. And uh, that was just a couple of turns in. And then I don't know if that was maybe what caused the next mistake, but it was kind of a trickle effect in that test file for me. I was just one mistake after another. I, I went into a section where there was two tight trees that you would have normally had to shimmy through. Um, but it looked like they had cut one of them down, you know, about two or three feet off the ground. So it went underneath my bar, but it was just high enough to catch the radiator. And it, it popped the radiator off, clean off on the left side. Um did you it, lose your coolant? I didn't lose any coolant, but the radiator was just hanging by the hoses. So uh, about eight miles, the last eight miles, I rode like that. And that caused three more wrecks because of uh, every time I go to turn right, you can see here on my fender where the, it was scraping. Every time I go to turn right, the radiator was catching there. <laughs> so I just I couldn't turn right, and I would go to turn. I had to just lean it and hope that I could stay in the rut. But I was making a lot of mistakes there for – the remainder of that test because of that um but you know I, I didn't really know how i stood going into the last test because uh test three scores weren't coming up and if you know if we factored in all the scores besides test three i had a nine second nine second lead roughly over rider going in that last test so i knew i had to just kind of bring it home basically and uh you know keep it on two wheels and, and ride my race and that was what i tried to do but uh just made another little miscalculation, and uh, I clipped a tree going to, through a fast section. It was a pretty nice-sized pine tree. Just miscalculated by two inches and clipped it with the left side of the handlebar. And I mean, it put me on the ground before I knew it. So the bike landed on top of me, and then it was pinned. It had me pinned between a tree. So luckily, again, I was all good. Like I didn't didn't catch a scratch from that wreck. It kind of just tucked and rolled. The bike landed on me, and I was, the rear tire was like doing a burnout on the back of my leg. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it took me a second to get up and get going again. And uh, after that, I, I had two or three miles to go in that last test. I kind of just brought it home. I just tried to ride it home. And uh, luckily, it was enough to get the job done. So I'm pumped. Yeah. Well, congrats on the win despite some of those wrecks there late in the day. So good job. Thank you. All right, we have Coastal Gas Gas, Ryder Lafferty. How was your enduro? Pretty good. Solid day. Stayed off the ground. No real big mistakes. Good trail today. Loved it. Heck yeah. Yeah. Nice. You mess around with the bike at all? I mean, this is the same 
chassis as what you've been riding so you probably had a pretty good uh leg up maybe yeah definitely uh not much today you know i have a pretty good setup and you know some good stuff from last year i did go a little bit softer just because some of the trail was a little bit more beat up than what i was expecting but other than that just uh didn't do, change much it was pretty pretty dialed were you focusing on any certain riding techniques i know you're used to being a sand rider where you kind of had anything top of mind or are you just race mindset the whole time just kind of retrail look up you know the usual enduro thing and i think i i've tried to be more aggressive here lately but for the most part i'm everybody tells me i'm smooth that's kind of like it's hard for me to change it but it's a good thing like to be the smooth smooth here and like you know when it's real tight like i, I feel like i'm a good tight enduro rider and today was pretty tight and uh it worked out so oh, yeah Nice. Well, we'll see you in Texas. Good job. Thank you. Yep. See you there. All right. We have Josh Toth here. Josh ended up on the podium third place. How'd your enduro go? Yeah, overall, it turned out pretty good. Um, long day, fighting through a lot of lappers, a lot of people out there, and uh, a lot of tight trees. So not a, not a lot of room for us. But um, yeah, super stoked to pull it together at the end there and uh, end up third overall. So my goal today was just stay steady, consistent, off the ground, and uh, I did that. So super stoked and uh on to the next round i think uh i'll be more comfortable the next very good how do you manage with all those lappers is there anything like certain tips or tricks you do to get through those lappers more because it is pretty crazy out there especially yeah. the first race of the year as soon as i see a helmet coming i'm just like on the rev limiter and just be as loud as i can really give them a heads up but i know it's frustrating for them and everything and so just do my best i do a lot of screaming a lot of yelling a lot of a lot of cussing out there but uh I don't mean anything by it. It's in the heat of the moment. So by the end of it, uh, yeah, just uh, it's equal for everyone. So I just got to understand that. Good. And how did your knuckles turn out? Oh, we're good. Oh. Uh, just a little oh, skin off the top. For you. But uh, these Enduro Engineering's badass, I'll tell you. This is my hand's been mangled the last few years. Here, we're good. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. All right, well, we'll see you on the next one. Good ride. Absolutely. Thanks. All right, we have Stuart Baylor here. How was your Enduro? Just a rough day, like this is normally one of my better tracks, but woke up this morning feeling really sick and just did what we could to get to the finish. But um, it was it was a, a tough one mentally, um, but, you know, we, we scored points. We did what we needed to and just looking forward to the next one. Um, obviously, I've been looking forward to this race for the last two months and <laughs> to get sick day of, it kind of sucks. But, um, you know, you don't get to see the don't get to see the work that you put in whenever whenever you stand back and have results like this but i think texas will be different and obviously that's that's a different terrain for just about everybody so i think we'll see the results a lot different there and you know if there's if there's one thing that that i can say it's that i've i've normally been one of the most well-rounded riders when we see new terrain like that obviously my brother's really good too so We'll see how it goes, but I know it's going to be hot and dry out there, so it'll be a lot a lot of change from, from today's terrain. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Well, good luck, and we'll see you out there in Texas. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. All right, we have Liam Draper here on the new his new ride, the Ampro Yamaha. How was, uh, how was your Enduro this weekend? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I started off good. It was uh, I got five out of six test wins, so I was bummed to miss the last one, but... Is what it is. It was a good day, and um, Toth actually got me on the end of the last test with third overall, but we won the class, and everything was good. Just two little small crashes at the end there kind of lift me out, but other than that, the bike's good, and I'm stoked to be back at Enduros. Nice. Gelling with the bike well? Were you playing around with it or pretty well set up? No, I didn't change anything at all all day today. It's uh, It's been good. We actually have another test this week, so we'll see what how go how that goes, but everything on the bike's been good. Very cool. Have you ridden our next rounds in Texas? Have you ridden out there no, before? No, never been to Texas, so uh, that'll be interesting, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, though. Well, good job winning, dude. Thanks, man. Yep. All right, we have Craig DeLong. How did your Enduro go, Craig? Uh, it was so-so. I mean, I would have liked to have been up there with the top three. I was kind of there in the morning, and um, just a little bit off of my, my bike. Uh, this is the first race on a new bike for me, and we've had about – a month or so with it and uh race conditions are always different than practice so um just kind of making adjustments all day long just trying to get it more comfortable for me and uh we're not far off but we need a little more work to do and uh overall it was a good day i mean i'm i'm happy i'm 
in one piece first race in you know a couple months so it's um i feel good i like physically strong and just uh need to get a little quicker i guess in the in the uh, shorter test uh, i wish they were all kind of 10 miles 12 miles but it's not how they are really anymore so um but overall it was good the trail was good it was the club did a good job of um laying out some smoother trail from last year i thought last year was kind of rough and they put a, a good amount of work in and i enjoyed the trail it was good not nothing like too crazy tight but uh tight enough where it was a challenging you know a couple of tests so um overall it's good i mean you can't beat south carolina this time of year it's uh one of the, some of the best places to ride so uh, overall i'm a little bummed a little disappointed like up, not upset but um we could be better so we'll be uh we'll be doing some work before between now and texas we'll be uh Get ready. Nice. Yeah, it is always challenging at this race because we have a lot of sand whoops. It's sand, but then also a lot of tight trail too. So, you know, typically you want the bike a little bit more choppered out for the sand, sand whoops, but then you still need a lot of front end weight to turn it. What were you messing around with or changing throughout the day? Were you changing the balance of the bike or clickers or anything you can go into detail about? Yeah, it was a little bit of both. Um, I was trying to get a little more stability, more comfort through the whoops. Um, I felt like I was turning too well. Um, and some of the tighter stuff, moment was too much. So I kind of was trying to bring that front up a little bit more and uh, just a little bit more comfort through some of the rougher stuff, just trying to get the to, to drive straight instead of, you know, a side to side movement or, you know, up and down. So um, we overall from the beginning of the day to the end, we made the improvements each test and uh, good stuff to, you know, remember for the next time. And uh, we'll, uh, yeah, right. part of it, man. Yeah. Third bikes. All right, we have Ben Kelly here, factory Red Bull KTM, FMF KTM. First race back, man, from a pretty gnarly injury. How was it? Yeah, it was okay. Obviously, wish I did better, but, uh, I mean, I felt pretty good for the most part. Just, yeah, struggling with my injury still a little bit, more than I expected I would. And, yeah, just soldiered through, did what I could. And, yeah, just hopefully I can keep healing up and, get back to uh back to form here soon yeah yeah i'm sure you will it's hard work definitely you yeah. had two kind of major, major in injuries in that accident is one bothering you more than the other uh, a little bit of both but for sure the leg more today i don't know i might have hit it in the third test or something twisted it and yeah progressively just got worse throughout the day but i mean i seem to ride the same like all my times were about the same either way before it was hurting and then when it was so just keep working and uh yeah i mean trails were good and dirt was sick so like, it was fun but when you're in pain it definitely takes away from that but yeah did what i could and just keep plugging away yeah all right we'll see you in the next one thank you evan smith here on the beta two smoke how'd it go evan how was your enduro it was awesome uh sumter delivered as always uh dirt was perfect it was a little chilly but uh it was once we got going it was good uh didn't hit the ground any um and kept it pretty consistent all day so i had a good time it was a lot of fun cool last year you were on a 252 stroke most of the year how was it on the 300 today i dig the 300 we're only about two weeks in and riding it so i don't have that much time on it but i feel like i've i don't know gel with it uh good. pretty well right off the bat it's it's definitely I, I like the torque more and not having to rev on it as much good nice well i'm glad it went well for you see you on the next one yes sir We've got Ben Nelko, he won the Pro 2 class last year. This was your first Pro 1 race on the KTM 350. How'd it go? Um, I didn't, it went well. I mean, I didn't do what I wanted to do. I'm gonna have to learn how to ride those a little different. Um, I think I still rode, tried to ride it like a 250 still a little bit too much and it cost me some time, made a few mistakes. Um, but I mean, I'm happy with how I rode, just, uh, feel like I should have been at least two positions better today. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll build off of this and what's next? Texas. Texas. Yeah. See how it goes in Texas.